hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in the previous tutorial as you know that we have created a search bar which is this edit text and this search button so now a user is able to search for a particular location in the google map and as you know that in the third video tutorial of this series we have get the user current location using gps and you can see that this is my current location i am a user now and you can see this is my current location where i live so now we will work on the nearby place so first we will display the nearby hospital around the place around the current location of a user where a user live or let's say where a user is traveling so let's start work on that so go to the endo studio and first of all we need to create a class here so click here new java class and let's name this as get nearby places now click ok and you can see that our class is created successfully and this class will basically extends the async async and you can see async task it needs three parameters the first one is object comma string second is string and the third is also the string as you can see it shows us an error so you can simply click click here and here you can see this red bull click here and implements method click that and click ok and you can see that doing background method is created and the error is gone successfully now we need to create another method also here. and that method is on post execute you can see that so this is our another method and here we need to create three variables the first one is a string type and it is let's call this as google plus data and the second one the google map object so google map and let's call this as m map and the third one is also the string type so we can here we can put a comma and that variable is url now we need to create another class click here new java class and let's name this as download url download url click ok and you can see that our download url class is created successfully so this class will basically retrieve the data from the url using http url connection and file handling methods so here we are going to create a method and let's call this as it will uh, be a string type method so let's call this as read the url and it needs a here it will be a parameter of string type and let's call this as basically that will be the url so let's call this as flash url here we can say string data equals to empty string and we are going to use the input stream and buffer buffered reader as you know that which are file handling methods to read the url so here we can say input start this from capital i and here you can see this input stream let's call this as input stream equals to new url sorry not url that is equals to null input stream and now we are going to create a url so we can say url url equals to new url and pass the place url here which is over this parameter okay so pass that here as you can see it shows an error which is an exception so you can simply click here and click here and you can see this red bulb here so click on that and surround with try catch so you can see that and now we are going to create an object of http url so you can say http url connection let's call this as http url connection equals to null and then inside this try we are going to initialize the http url connection equals to http url connection url dot open connection so there is an error if you click here this click red bull and here you can see this add catch clause so click on that and you can see another catch is added here and the error is gone successfully so now we are going to connect this http url connection so we can say http url connection dot connect 
so we have uh, created the URL and then we open the connection and then we connect that and after that we have to read the data from the URL so for reading the data we will use the input stream so you can say input stream equals to URL HTTP URL connection dot get input stream so we are going to use the buffer reader so let's call this as buffer reader equals to new buffer reader so we are going to pass the input stream object here so we can say new input stream reader and pass this input stream to it a semicolon then we can say string buffer string buffer equals to new string buffer so now we are going to read each line one by one using while loop so we have to create a string type variable for that which will store the each line so you can call it as line equals to initialize with empty string and it is string data type okay so make sure to initialize with string data type and then we are going to append this to the string buffer so now we can say while and inside this put two, curl, uh, two braces more I mean parentheses here we can say line equals to buffer reader dot read line and it should not be equals to null and we can say string buffer dot append so we are now uh, append the string the line to the string buffer so now we are going to convert this uh, string buffer to string so for that after this uh, while loop we can say data equals to string buffer dot to string so we have to close the buffer now so buffered reader dot close and after this catch here we can say finally and I will explain it what does it mean basically it will try to execute this code so let's say if any of these statement uh, throws an exception so if, so if it throws an exception then the catch block will uh, catch and it will display the message using this e dot print stack trace and if there is anything which you want to execute in any case that is let's say if you get exception and even after that we want to execute whatever happens then we wrote that code or you can say we wrote that thing inside this finally block so here we can say input stream dot close and here we got an error here okay so to resolve this come here and here we can say throws io exception and you can see that there is gone successfully and then we can say actually P url connection dot disconnect and now finally after this finally block we can return the data so this uh, download url class will basically return the data in json format and we can uh, get that data using http url connection so now we are going to work on this get nearby places dot java file so here on in our this doing background method here we can say mmap equals to google map and using this objects we can say object zero so now we can say url equals to string objects one and now we are going to create an object of download url which is basically our class okay so we are going to create an object of this download url class so we can call it as download url equals to new download url google places data equals to download url dot read the read the URL which is basically the method 
on our download URL class you can see that so we are basically passing the value the URL to it so we can say URL and put a semicolon here so it throws an exception you can see it uh, give us an error so click here surround with try catch and you can see that and now what we're gonna do all we need is to remove this null and we are going to uh, return the Google places data so now we need to create another class click here new Java class and this will be our data data parser click OK and you can see our data parser class is created successfully and inside this class so here basically we will uh, create a method where we will uh, get the uh, place name low latitude longitude vicinity using a hash map and then we will uh, send this data so first let's complete this and you will understand it more clearly when we do it so let's create that method it is private hash map string comma string let's call this as get place and it will get the json object so just an object and let's name this as Google place JSON and inside this method we can we can basically now write the hash map about which I am talking at the start when we create this data parser class and we can write create this hash map string comma string and let's call this uh, I mean let's give it a name to this map as Google plus map equals to new hash map so we are using this just to put the data so we can say string the first one will be the name of place equals to double quotation dash na dash put a semicolon and let's copy paste this and change this to vicinity and it will be the same which is dash na and copy paste this three times more and remove this dash na and this one will be our latitude about which I talked earlier this will be our longitude and this one will be the reference so after this we can say name of place equals to google place json dot get string and we are getting the name the semicolon here and you can see it's uh, it shows us an error click on this red bulb and surround with try catch you can see that so this is our try catch block and now first of all uh, let's cut this control x first we need to create a I mean write and if statement where we will check if the google plus json uh, if not if not google plus json dot is null name then inside this we will place this so now copy this if statement and we will change it for the vicinity so this is our vicinity so you can simply instead of inside the second statement change this to vicinity and change this to vicinity and instead of name of less we can say vicinity and after this second statement we can say latitude equals to google plus json dot get json object geometry dot get json object location dot get string and here we can write l a t which is latitude put a semicolon and now all we need is to copy this line and we will change it for the longitude so after this we can paste it here and change this let to l and g which means the longitude and here also change this to longitude 
and now for the reference you can simply copy this line of code and we will uh, paste it here so paste that here and here we can say a reference and also paste it here instead of name so this is for the reference so we are basically fetching the data now after the fetching we are going to put it in our hash map which we uh, to which this hash map to which we give a name google plus map you can see that okay so this is basically it basically uh, store all this data so what we gonna do now so after this uh, reference we can say google plus is google plus map dot put so the first thing which you will put is the place name so let's call this as place underscore name comma and it is stored inside the variable which is name of place put a semicolon here and let's copy this and we will change it for the remaining so you can test it four times and the second thing is the vicinity so here we can say vicinity and pass the vicinity variable here and the fourth one is our latitude so here we can simply call it as lat which means latitude and pass that latitude variable here and for longitude we can say lng which means longitude and pass that longitude variable here and the last one is the reference so here we can say reference and pass that variable reference here so now we have to return this hash map which is google plus map so after this catch we can say return google plus map put a same call so basically this um, hash map or you can say this is the hash map inside this method hash map so basically this hash map will store one plus for that i mean the plus name vicinity latitude longitude reference for one plus so to store all the nearby places found we need to a list of hash maps so for that uh, we are going to create another method and here we can say private list list of hash map as i told you and it gets two parameter the string second one is also the string and let's name this as get all nearby places get all nearby places and let's uh, rename this as get single nearby place so in this way we can differentiate between the methods so here we can say json object not the object as this will be a list of hash maps so we can say json array and let's call this as json array and inside this method so we need to set a counter for the json array uh, length so we can say int and let's call this as counter equals json array dot length so now we are going to create a list of hash map here so you can simply copy this control c and paste that here okay copy this and paste that here and now let's call this as nearby places list equals to new array list and now we are going to create a hash map to store each place we fetch so we can say hash map string comma string and let's call this as nearby place map equals to null and let's create a for loop now as we have list of data so we can say int i equals to zero i less than counter i plus plus so here we can say nearby place map equals to so here we are basically going to use this uh, get single nearby place method you are called that method get nearby place so this will fetch one place and then we are going to add it 
to the nearby place is less put two parentheses more and we can say json object json array dot get i and you can see it shows an error here uh, so you can simply click here and click on this red bull and surround with try catch you can see that okay and now after this we are going to add this to the places list which is the nearby places list so here we can say nearby places nearby places list dot add near by place map and after this for loop we are going to return the nearby places list so now we are going to create the last method for this class which is public list hash map string comma string and let's name this as parse string and let's call this as json data so here we can say json array json array null then the json object json object equals we will leave it like that then we can say json object equals to new json object json data json array equals to json object dot get json array and pass uh, results and double put a semicolon here and you can see that it shows an error so surround this with try catch and now here after this catch we can return the get all nearby places json array so cut this json objects equal to new json object from here Control X and uh, here inside this try pass data here. So basically, this parse method will parse the data and it pass it uh, the data to the get all nearby places as a JSON array. If I show you, this is our get all nearby places method and it receive it as a JSON array. And now this method, which is get all nearby places, this method will store the data in the form of list of hash maps. And this method will fetch each place one by one using this for loop. And then uh, call this get single nearby place method for each place, which is our this uh, get single nearby place method. So this will this method will convert the JSON array to hash map and it will add it to the list of hash maps. So now go to the uh, get nearby places class and here now we need to create another class and let's call this as private void display nearby places and here we can say list hash map string comma string and let's name this as nearby places list so inside this method we can create a for loop int i equals to 0 i less than nearby places list dot size i plus plus So this method will uh, basically show all the places in the list. So we will create marker options and add a marker to map. And then we will move the camera to that place, to that marker. 
so we can say marker options marker options equals to new marker options now we need to create a hash map so for the time saving uh, let's copy this hash map and we will paste it here now going to get the place name and vicinity so we can say string name of place equals to google nearby place dot get place underscore name and make sure to write this in quotation and also make sure that you write uh, the same name which we use on our data parser uh, class here okay you can see that the name is place underscore name so make sure to use the same name here then let's copy this and paste it here and then we have the vicinity to fetch so here we can say vicinity and place that name here also after this we can say double lat which means the latitude equals to double dot parse double google nearby places place dot get and inside this double quotation make sure to use the same value which is here so paste that here for the latitude and we are converting into double type variable okay you can see that pass double dot pass double copy this and paste it uh, below and change this for longitude which is lng and change this to lng which is the longitude so since we get the latitude and longitude and the vicinity so what we're going to do now we are going to add a marker to that place so for that go to the google map activity and we will copy the code from here for the time saving so here uh, on in our on click on click method we have this inside this for loop we have this lat lang and these okay so copy this control c and go back to the google nearby places and paste that code here and we will change it now so here we can say we have already the latitude and longitude in double type variables so we can let comma longitude and change this to marker options marker options change this to marker options then we have marker option dot position let length after this the title so the title will be the name of place plus inside double quote double quotation add some space colon plus vicinity then you can change the marker color if you want let's change this to yellow will be good and then add marker to the marker options then move camera dot new let lang let lang and then we have animate camera dot zoom to 10 and now come here and we have this on port on post uh, execute method remove this super dot and here we can say copy this parameter of this method control c and paste that here it will be equals to null then we can say data parser which is our class let's call this as data parser equals to new data parser nearby places list equals to data parser dot parse and pass this string s to it and we are going to call this display nearby places method here and pass this nearby places list to it so yeah that's it for this video bye for now